And, you know, today's training call, a couple of things that I want to talk about. First of all, the monthly strategy calls, you know, as we've talked about before, I think that it's important. And obviously you guys are on this call and you have, you know, the people that are here have uh, monthly strategy calls as well. But if you haven't scheduled one, it's really important that you do it. You know, here's where I went through with Jason a little um, earlier today, you know, and there's schools going out. So we're going to put a notice on that. If your center hours are going to change for the summer, um, it's another thing that we can discuss at that time. So I encourage you to just gives you a chance to think a little bit ahead. We can customize the posts for your Facebook page. The, so the more that we know ahead, the easy easier it is for us to get it scheduled and um, rather than trying to juggle things around when we get it last minute. So if you can get that information to us ahead of time, it'll really be helpful. We'd really appreciate that. You know, these are some of the other things that we'll review. We also have scheduled these down here are five posts that we have automatically scheduled that are just kind of highlight posts with the spacewalk and Maurice Sendak's birthday, Father's Day. I thought Eat Your Vegetables Day was a cool day that we would throw in there. And then Helen Keller's birthday. I think those are all kind of important historical things that would relate to what we do. So those are posts that are scheduled. In addition, to understand that twice a week we schedule uh, SAT prep words. Now, we don't call them that anymore. We just call them words of the day. And the words of the day will come out in three formats where um, we had some issues with using copyrighted material that I don't, you know, that we certainly don't want to do. So, you know, whereas we've been doing most of the words of the day have looked like this, we're going to start doing more pictures. You know, a while ago we were doing some pictures. And then we've also gone back to creating some videos and removed any any copyrighted material out of those videos. So, um, and those are already posted. This is Columbia, Maryland's YouTube channel, but we've posted them on everybody's page and then we'll be adding them onto your, onto, you know, we've posted them on your YouTube page and we'll be adding them to your Facebook newsfeed as, um, you know, one or two a week uh, with the words. So let me show you what we've done here. So we've taken out any um, copyrighted material at all out of these and just made it simple word of the day. I, kind of, I In some ways, I like it better because it's short and to the point. And so those will be added into your news feed on a regular basis. So um, that covers that. And, you know, the usual things that we talk about as well. So that's that's kind of it on the... Uh, you know, the monthly strategy calls. I just, again, want to emphasize the importance of scheduling one every month and, you know, getting as much involvement as you can with your center, either as a center owner, if you want to do it, or you want to designate somebody in your center that's your social media marketing contact and have them work with me. Either way is fine with me, as long as we have a person at your center who can meet with us on a monthly basis and plan out what we would like to do in your center for the next month. The other thing that I'm going to try to do that I'm announcing today that I think is exciting is, and, and we're doing this in one area already, but we're going to do a Facebook contest for the uh, number of likes that a center has. And I'm a, I actually have a mini contest going on now with six centers Todd Sane centers out in Nevada and California, and we're seeing some great results out there, and I'm really excited about it. So I want to kind of duplicate that success, and so we're going to have, it's going to be a little tough for Todd centers because they've done so well for May, but they've had their chance, but they have another chance really for the month of June. For the month of June, I'm going to take 
the 30 or so centers that I'm working with right now and do a contest and see how many likes they can add to their Facebook page. So I'm, I'm really excited about this. Starting on 10 a.m. Um, Eastern Daylight Time, Eastern Time on June 4th, right around then, it'll be a Tuesday that my assistant will do it, we'll note, it, we'll note how many likes your center has on your Facebook page. Um, then we'll note how many likes you have at the close of business on June 30th. So for that 26-day period, the center of all the centers that I work with that adds the most likes during that period is going to win $200 to have a celebration at their center. We're going to issue weekly recaps to um, let you know, and probably it's not going to be on Monday. The weekly recaps will probably come on Wednesday. I actually need to change that. Sorry about that. We'll do it on Wednesday because um, we don't compile the numbers till Tuesday. So you'll be able to see where you stand at any point. And if anybody's concerned in the middle of the week, you know, I, if they're you know competing against one center to win or whatever, I can certainly help you with that as well because we've got about 30 centers that will be competing for this. And the prize, like I said, is $200 for you to use at your center for a celebration. And, and it kind of it works. You know, the celebration, you can bring food, have a little party for your employees and your teachers and that sort of thing. Maybe do it with a little recognition event. You can use the $200 as you would like. But where I think we're seeing success on this is where you do get your employees and your teachers involved and they tell their, you know, ask their friends to like your center. And when they, when they do that, that's where we're seeing, you know, lots of great activity. I mean, we've got one center, Henderson, uh, Nevada, that I'll be talking about in a few minutes that has, um, it's up to 167 likes and they're going for about 30 days. So that's really great results. So some ideas, and there's something that I want to talk about right after this, why it's so important for you to do this and to get your center to 100 likes. Um, some ideas to help you get more likes that, you know, that we talked about, sharing your Facebook page with parents and students. I think this is really important. And, and also throwing in their employees, you know, getting the employees involved. And when the employees, you know, know that there's going to be a $200 prize and you're going to have a nice celebration for all of your employees with that money that, um, you know, that I think that's going to help you quite a bit. Uh, we also have postcards and a sign that we've supplied to you to post in your waiting area and to pass out to students and parents. And I would encourage you, if you don't have any more of those, just send me an email and I'll be glad to print more for you. The little signs you can use and um, give them to parents when you know, you're having a conference or whatever, maybe at the end of the conference, tell them, you know, if they, especially if they have a student who's doing college exam prep work, you know, tell, tell them about every week we feature two words of the day that'll help your student with the SAT preparation. And then we also put other things in there in terms of math and science and history that'll help as well, little fun facts that'll help you out with that. Um, another thing that you can do is add your Facebook page address to the bottom of your email signature. And this is something that people often don't think about, but just throw it in there. And, and you know, if you're going to put it in there, you know, put something like get the, you know, receive the SAT prep word of the day on our Facebook page and put a link to your Facebook page. You know, you may have, you know, or the college exam prep word of the day and, Put a link to your Facebook page to let people know that there's something in it for them if they like your page. Other approaches in asking parents to like your page, you know, let them know when the set you're going to let them know when the center is closed. If you're closed on Memorial Day, we'll put that up. If we're changing our center hours, we'll put that on our Facebook page. And all of those, as I've said before, are things that you could do. Drop me an email and we'll get it posted right away as quickly as we can. So, and I guess I need to. Chris, I just want to say I posted snow days there too when we've had to do that. So, 
yeah, that's, that's another a, way to get in touch with parents and let them know when you have to be closed because of the weather. That's a great one. And if you can, if you can, you know, use the your Facebook page as your information hub, that's just opening up another marketing opportunity for you. And as I'm going to show you next, it's a big opportunity. So, you know, here we have this contest going. What I do, and this is the um, form. We track this every week already, and I haven't used the information as well as I should have, very honestly. But we track this information already, and I've just highlighted some of the centers that are doing quite well, that are, that are a little bit more mature. You know, the Fairfax Center and the Stafford Center both have, you know, good amount of likes. They're very close to 100, so we can start promoting some of their posts, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. And then the six centers that I have highlighted down on the bottom are the six centers that are currently in the contest. And you can see the Henderson, which is uh, Las Vegas center, just crank it. So um, good luck, you know, congratulations to them. So what I want to talk about now is Facebook promoted posts. And this is this is something that's really neat. And I've had great success with this with clients. Uh, I have a lawn service client that I've got great success with it, furniture store client that I've had great success with it. I've had personal success with this as well. Um, an exterminator client that I've had great success with this. And I'm anxious to try it out with some Huntington centers, but the stumbling block that I had is that we had to get to 100 likes. So in Henderson, they have 167. And what you'll see is those of you, um, let me open up another page here so you can see this. And I should have put this one in here as well. This is my own personal Facebook page, which I open at a little bit of a risk. You know, you'll see maybe some of the... Um, crazy things that I do. Well, there's Huntington and I'm trying to find um, a promoted post, which always, here we go, right here. So here is a promoted post from BuzzFeed. Okay. And it's actually a BuzzFeed partner. So this is, um, this is where I can click on, click. This is a post that they've put up that they've promoted. You see sponsored down here. And if I wanted to like this page, I could click on it. Now, how deep they've gone to demographically target this, I'm not going to get into right now because Facebook advertising has incredibly deep demographic possibilities where you can go in there and find your target market. And, you know, where you have pages where you have a decent amount of likes, it can really be. A strong thing to do and I, I you know you can actually even bring in your email list into Facebook and it'll match your list of email prospects and clients whatever email list that you have which I'm sure everybody has a great email list right but anyway you can go you can go in and drop that email list into Facebook and it'll go out and find the people on Facebook who have the same emails that are on your list and you can target those people so you can target but this is just a promoted post, you know, something that shows up and they must have a number that I could probably find out if I wanted to, um, you know, how often promoted posts show up, you know, I'm scrolling through here a little bit more and I don't see any more of them and I've never seen more than one or two um, in there. But anyway, so that would be, and the cool thing about it is now in Henderson, because they have over a hundred likes, I can go and actually boost the post. And for $15, I can hit 7,000 to 13,000 people. Now, what I'm going to do for them, and I, I haven't decided yet what post, you can also choose. You know, I'm going to give everybody that gets to 100 likes at least a $5 to $10 post for free every month. So that that's something that I'll be doing. And, you know, even at five bucks, we could promote this post and reach thirty six hundred to sixty seven hundred people. Now, I find that the Facebook numbers are sometimes overstated. 
a little bit. But still, if you reach a thousand people, that's pretty good for five bucks. And what you'll find is that people will, if they're interested in what you say, they'll click on it, they'll like your page. Sometimes they're even sharing it, which is great because you're reaching people that you would never reach other than possibly through this Facebook post. Now, the key becomes making sure that you have the right post to promote and you, your post matches with what you would want to say. So in this case, generally, I wouldn't advocate making a post be mar completely marketing oriented. You know, if you look through here, we don't see, see many marketing oriented posts at all. But in this case, and this is, you know, this is not a bad, bad post to do. And I intentionally did this. You know, we made sure that we took, you know, with summer programs coming up, we made sure that we created a post that would be worth what, you know, good to see in somebody's newsfeed that would ring a bell with somebody and get that, get in front, you know, get them to click on your page and like it and maybe even give you a call to do business. Now, what happens here, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm going to do it for, you know, because I'm happy with these guys and they've done so well, we'll do it for 10 bucks. So it's estimated to reach 55 to 10,000 people. Now, there are more options. Um, you know, that's not, you know, that's something that you can change if you'd like. I'm going to leave it alone. I could change the payment method. I have my card in there. So I'm going to go ahead and all I have to do is click boost post. And it's going to take a little while for the post to get approved. And very honestly, I have a client that's a restaurant and pub, and we can't do these because these are very general and they won't let, you know, the pub, because they sell liquor, they won't let you do this. Uh, but there are other ways that you can do it within Facebook where you target people who are 21 and over. So that's not a problem. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, in a couple of days, I'll actually send out the results of this and you'll actually see and you'll get to see, you know, you'll have organic, viral, and then you'll see the paid views as well. Now, what this does, what a promoted post does, and, you know, I, I had this back here. We had the um, BuzzFeed there. But, um, it was right around. Yeah, the BuzzFeed. So, you know, what, what this means, if this is showing up on my page, most likely there is a friend of mine who already likes this because what this is going to do now, now that we've promoted this page, is on all 167 of these people, we're, go we're going to see, it'll, it'll say, you know, Chris Ripley likes... Huntington Learning Center, Henderson, and then this post will appear right below it, and then you will have the opportunity to like, comment, or share, and the like button will appear up here as well. It's very hard to, to show to demonstrate these, um, but you can take my word for it because I've been doing it for a couple of months now. So you'll you'll see the results, and there'll be results that'll be quite broad versus narrow. So, you know, this is uh, this is a great thing, but you got to get your page up to 100 and 100 likes or more to do that, because you need to have the critical mass because they say that the average Facebook person, person on Facebook profile, whatever you want to call it, likes 140 people. So that's really where they feel at 100 likes is that you hit the critical mass where it's worthwhile doing this. So if you have 100 people averaging 140 likes, 14,000 people, like I've said. So I just wanted to um, show that to everybody. And, you know, that'll be something that we'll be working on with the contest. Um, Ventura, I just I think I just wanted to mention, oh, these guys, Ventura has done a great job of adding local content. One of the things that I always talk about to make your Facebook page successful is adding local content. And one of the things that you'll notice is that the difference between Henderson and oops, scroll. 
You know, Henderson's got more likes, but they only have 43 people seeing this post. Ventura has 56 people seeing this post because they're also doing things like, you know, congratulations to Heather O, our May student of the month. They're posting that. And, you know, you can actually go in here and see all the people that are liking this. This is really where it gets going. Um, you know, this is really where you start to see the results. You know, you can scroll down here and they also, they've made this a highlighted post. You know, that's something that you can do. That was something, 284 people. So there was some um, virility to this post as well. You know, this is, and that really happens when you get these three people that like it and then you see that it shows up on other people's news feeds. So, you know, I encourage you to add some additional local content and that's going to really help you with the visibility of your posts. Those of you who are familiar with Facebook and you're familiar with the news feed, you know, if this is me, this is this is often where the people place that people go on Facebook. This is your news feed. And the average life of a post in the news feed is about 12 hours. So, but the more people that like it and the more comments that you get on it, Facebook thinks, oh, this must be something that people are really interested in. They want to make sure that there's interesting content showing up on your news feed. So it'll stick around longer if you get people to like it or share it or comment on it. All of those things are going to help keep your posts showing up on the news feed. So that's that's really you know why I'm trying to give you guys these tips. These are all things that will help you. Any questions from anybody? Is it making sense? Okay. Uh, well, anyway, we'll move on. We'll move on. I want to show you guys a few things that we've done on some pages, and uh, you know you can have these on your pages as well. We do this on a lot of pages, and here's a $50 coupon that we've set up for this center, Cedar Park in Texas. And lots of centers have this, but if, you'd if you don't have this on your page, we can set this up for you as well. We also did a summer reading adventure countdown clock for them. And you can actually, you wouldn't see edit this deal on, on a normal page. You only see it because it's my page. But here, you know, we put a big graphic in here, summer countdown to June 1st. Here's a little video that the center had done last year about the summer reading adventure. So I think that's pretty good. And then we have the countdown to June 1st. So that's another little thing that we can do on your page if you'd like to have it as well. We also did for these guys, we did a summer programs page. They have summer programs going on and, you know, we did the post just um, yesterday about summer programs. I know that's a big part of everybody's business. So we actually took this page and did a set. We took what we did here is these are basically just Word documents that we made into graphics and we posted them on the Facebook page. So here's their summer camp English and history Monday and Wednesday. It's got you know the details on it. And here's math and science and when those are going on. And so you have both of those. And then the other cool thing that we did was if you want, you can click here. And what this will do is it'll take you to a Dropbox page. And here's your application for the summer program. So, you know, this is, these are all things that we can do for you. You need to supply us with the content. But if you have the content, and lots of people probably have the content already, it's just a matter of dropping it in the email to us and um, asking us what you'd want to do. And again, this is a topic that we can discuss on the strategy call that you need to sign up for. So that would be, uh, you know, another place that you could go for that. So let me go back here. Where's the, oops. Is there anything else? I think that's it. Um, we did the, uh, the student recognition tab. We also did. So, um, you know, here we have where we, you know, we just put a little graphic up at the top and here we have some of the students have picked up on their 
SAT scores or there, you know, this is a Texas, the star test in Texas. So we did that as well. So that's something that um, you can do if you'd like. And uh, just, you know, you just have to let us know. We did this for Charlotte and Huntersville Center. We set up a center leadership tab and we have all the people who are um, running the center right here. If you, you know, just um, in this case, Jason just sent us the pictures and we posted the, you know, we put it together and then we created the tab and all you have to do is click here and you can see who the um, folks are. So that's, a, that's another thing that we can do for you if you'd like. We can do, a, you know, we have a lot of flexibility in being able to add things to your Facebook page. And in reality, you can use your Facebook page as a alternative or secondary website where your Huntington page may be limited as to what you can do on your Facebook page. You can do a lot more. I've been saying, you know, probably for three years now, four years now that, you know, you can use your Facebook page as a website. There's so much flexibility to it for a business page that, you know, if you had an organization, I was, my daughter was a swimmer for many, many years and we used to have a website and we'd have to update it all the time. And then we'd send out emails and do that sort of thing. As long as all the parents are on Facebook, you know, or there's somebody in the house that's on Facebook, you could, you know, the swim team could use Facebook as their website. And that's really all you'd need. And, you know, here you have up here, you know, facebook.com backslash Huntington Charlotte. So that's really all you all you need to give people. And, you know, as Jason was saying earlier, you can post up weather closing, change in hours when, the, you know, the center is closed for holidays, any events that might be going on, you know, you can, and then you'll get people that will say, oh, our high school band is having their concert on June 3rd. Could you put that on your Facebook page? That's when you'll start seeing great results and seeing, you know, the ability to use your Facebook page as a communication tool will then roll over where you can do promoted posts and things like that that'll help you with your marketing as well. So I hope that everybody has um, gotten something out of that. I think that, you know, certainly within the social media world for you, Facebook should be your number one priority without question. And the last thing I want to hit on today, and I alluded to this earlier, that we're going to work real hard to make sure that we don't use any copyrighted material in any of the posts that we make. And I would, um, you know, if what you do is certainly up to you, but that's the direction that I've been given. So I'm going to stick to that. And we're going to do the best that we can to provide great looking quality content on your social media pages that will be compliant with anything that we need to be in compliant with. So that's probably it on that point. Um, does anybody have any questions? Anybody, any questions with anything that I talked about today? Yeah, did I do a good job of explaining it? Was I too fast, too slow? All good? Everybody loved it. Yeah. Everybody's asleep. <laughs> I got some ideas, Chris. That was good. 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 Yeah. No, I, I think the key thing that, you know, if you got one thing out of it was try to work hard to increase the likes on your Facebook page so you can do a little bit of promoted pages, you know, promoted posts that I can help you with and um, help grow your page even more. And we're going to have a contest, you know, that we'll have the contest. I'll get information out about the contest pretty quickly. And everybody needs to make sure that if you haven't signed up for a monthly strategy call, please do that. So that's it. Um, if there are no other questions, I'm going to wrap it up right now. That's right about a half an hour. That's good. And uh, thank you to everybody. Have a great day. Thank you.